All right, welcome everybody. This is the step-by-step -step how to 3D print and make the super pop-up towel hanger. You can see I've got the pieces loaded in here. I'm using Ultimaker Cura slicing software, but you can use any 3D printing slicing software. So you can see I've got the box base, the box lid, the hook piece in back here, and the gear piece. And then over here on the side is a character piece. This one is the mushroom head. Uh, just as a note, I will be printing this separately in a red color, and then I'll be printing these all the box components together in yellow. So I'll go ahead and delete that out for now. The way I have these parts out is pretty much straightforward, except for this lid piece. You might ask why, why don't I print that laying face down? And the reason is because of these, these hinge portions here. If that's laid down um, and it's printed layer by layer, these will be uh, a little bit weak and easy to break. So when it's set up right like this, it will be a much stronger outcome. So with that, we can look at the print settings I have here, just a standard 0.2 millimeter height, layer height. You can go finer resolution and that'll, the parts will probably work a little bit better, but 0.2 is good enough. The infill I have at 20%. I wouldn't recommend going any lower. The main reason is just for the strength of this hook piece. The, bed, the printer settings, I have the nozzle at a 200 degree temperature and the build plate at 55C, and this is printed with PLA. Support, you will need to generate support. You can see um, in red here is the features that would need support. And then build plate adhesion, you can use a skirt, brim, raft, that's really up to your own preference. And with that, I will slice these parts so with those settings, I have an eight hour and 15 minute print. That's a pretty long print, but once it gets started, it should be pretty low maintenance. All right, so let's get this exported and get to the print. Got the parts printed off here, uh, the box parts in yellow and the mushroom head in red here. So I chose to put these on a raft just because it's simpler and easier to break off. It takes a little bit longer and a little more material, but generally you don't have to babysit your printer as much. So let's break these off. All right, now that all the parts are depaled here, I'll go through one by one how to uh, clean them up after the printing. Okay, starting off with this gear. On my printer, sometimes I get these little stray strands. So just take a knife, go in and clean those out. All right, with that cleaned up there, we'll move on to the next piece. Let's do the base of the box. Just a few support features in the back here. that piece out there's also one more support piece in here all right and there's also a few little pieces in these holes here you have to clean out uh, needle works well right now I'm just using a skinny screwdriver and then the last piece is this little support inside the box here underneath this piece where the gear snaps on so I usually just take a finger and snap that off and there we have it, the box is finished. Next is the hook. Um, the only part to clean off here is in between these gears or this groove here. There we go, get that cleaned out of there. And then there is a little groove on the back too. The hook is all cleaned up. Next, we'll take a look at the lid here. This whole part here is support material. We'll cut along the top and the bottom edge and that should just pop right out. And there we go, that popped right out of there. And then along this hinge here, this whole middle part here is infill. So you can just cut one end and usually pop that right out. Then you'll just want to make sure these two holes are cleaned up. And last but not least, the character piece. I believe the only part that needs to be cleaned out here on the mushroom one is these little teeth. What I like to do for these little teeth is take a ballpoint pen, 
and just pop those out of there one by one. All right, now I've got all of those cleaned out of there. So now that all your pieces are cleaned up, the next step is to do dry assembly and make sure everything fits together and doesn't have uh, too much friction. So maybe we'll start with this character piece. This guy just drops onto these grooves here. So the first time it assembles, it's probably a little bit rough. What you wanna do is work it back and forth a little bit to loosen that up. And then inspect where these two places are in contact along these ridges. If there's any burrs or sharp edges, you'll wanna clean those up. You can see in here is an example of some burrs or edges that should probably be cleaned off to help this uh, slide smoother. And after those are cleaned up, you can dry assemble it again and see how it goes. See when it's working correctly, this should drop by itself with gravity. Now moving on to the hook piece. So the hook will slide into the bottom here. There's these grooves that you line up. Again, this may be a little bit rough the first time you assemble it. So work it through a few times. And then go ahead and inspect again for any burrs that are gonna cause extra friction. And once you've got the hook cleaned up, that should also fall out with gravity. So now the gear will assemble onto this post here. And you want to make sure this larger hole is out. So here's the smaller hole. Here's the larger hole. Make sure that's facing away from this post. So then you'll have to bend this top edge back a little bit. So bend that back, slide this gear in there. And then it should snap right on. Again, the gear might be a little bit hard to turn at first, so work it around. So it should spin very freely. If it doesn't, you might have to take it apart and take a, take a second look and see if there's anything to clean up. So now with the gear in place, we're going to take the hook and do another dry assembly. Put it in there and make sure there's no friction. Mine is currently a little bit rough, so I want to Take it apart and inspect for any burrs in this groove. So it looks like there's one there. All right, go ahead and assemble the hook. Now it moves very freely, falls out under gravity. This is exactly what we want. Then the next step is take the head character piece and assemble that again. Make sure there's no extra friction there. You can see this also falls down with gravity. So very smooth assembly. So now that we've installed the gear and we've tested the character piece and the hook piece and know that everything is smooth, now we're going to install the hook piece for the final time. So we'll put that in here and then we'll take the screw and assemble it in this back hole. Make sure when you install the screw into this hole that it's falling into this slot in the back of the hook. When installing the screw, make sure you don't install it too far to where it causes this hook to have friction. All right, with the screw installed, should, the hook should be very smooth moving, but should also have a bottom stop and a top stop. Now for the next step, we'll install the character piece. The character piece you'll want to hook onto this left side with this groove, and then you're gonna take the piece and rotate it or wrap it around and have the other side snap onto this side. So installing the character piece, make sure this hook is all the way down. And when you go to snap it on, make sure roughly his chin height is at the top of this edge. And then you'll go ahead and snap it in place. Now with everything assembled, it still falls under its own weight of gravity. Now the last step is to take our lid and assemble that on here. So we'll have two screws on the left and right side. The 
With the lid, you want to make sure you don't tighten these screws too much so the lid still falls down with the weight of gravity. And now with everything assembled, you should have a working super pop-up towel hanger. And as a last step, you can disassemble the parts once everything's working well and paint up the character's face, this question mark, and any other things you may want to paint. Additionally, if you want to swap out the mushroom character piece for other character pieces, you can just pull the hook down, snap this out, grab another one such as the star, make sure the hook is pulled down, snap that into place, and then the steps are the same if you want to swap in the Pikachu character piece. Pull the hook down, snap it into place, and you're good to go. And with that, thank you for watching. I hope everybody can make their own super pop-up towel hanger at home. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe down below.